Hi, I'm AJ and thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. If you're not a current subscriber, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that like button because you're going to like this video and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. So it seems like every few weeks now there's a new checking or savings account that's either coming out or that's making major changes to try to attract uh, users. So one of the most recent is a company that's best known for their robo advisor accounts. Now robo advisors are basically uh, investing accounts that you can use where they automatically invest in certain stocks and funds and bonds for you. You basically just pick a fund based on your risk tolerance and this company will do the rest for you so you don't have to think about selecting individual stocks on your own. But in addition to that, this company now also has their own checking and savings account. And this company is Betterment. On July 23rd, the Betterment Everyday Checking Account was announced. And it's still in its infancy. You actually can't open an account right now. But what you can do is get on the waiting list for the checking account and open a savings account while you're waiting. And so today what we're mostly going to talk about is their savings account, as well as a little bit about uh, the RoboAdvisor features as far as the automated investing. Now what stands out about the Betterment savings account if you watched my previous videos about the top five savings accounts, uh, this was not one mentioned previously. This is an account that was available. And so now that they've made their savings account available and they also have a really great interest rate, I'm doing a review of this company so that you can decide if this is something that you would like to put your money in. So if the Betterment Everyday Savings Account, you can get an interest rate of 2.69%. Now that 2.69% interest rate, it's also contingent on you opening a checking account. So as long as you put your name in for the waiting list, you will get a 2.69% interest rate on the savings account. Now you can also sign up for the savings account without getting on the wait list for the checking account, but your interest rate will only be 2.43%. Now 2.43% is not bad at all. It's actually really great. Now, if you watch my video on the previous uh, best checking accounts that you've never heard of, you'll see that a very similar account, Wealthfront, who is also a robo-advisor, they have a savings account where you can get a 2.57% interest rate. Now, what's so special about the Betterment Everyday Checking Account compared to the different accounts that I've mentioned in the past? So just like many of those accounts, there are no fees for using this account. So there are no ATM fees. And if you're charged by another institution, because Betterment, of course, does not have their own local banks, if they charge you an ATM fee, then Betterment will reimburse you for the fees that another bank may charge you for using their ATM. There are also no account fees. There are no minimum balances in order to keep the account open and to avoid fees. There is a minimum of a $10 deposit just to open the account in order for you to start earning that savings rate. And soon once that checking account is available, you will have access to a debit card where you can use to make purchases uh, throughout your day. And it's a Visa debit card. So as far as the top checking and savings account, Betterment is definitely in the running for one of those accounts, uh, whether it's the checking account, uh, if you can check out my videos where I talk about the best checking accounts that you may not know about, as well as my top five video for online savings accounts that I just did a mid-year review over just a couple of weeks ago. Now to talk about the betterment that most people may have already heard of as far as what they're known for, and that's being a robo-advisor. A robo-advisor is basically an account where you can automatically invest in the stock market. So if you're not a person that wants to go out and pick individual stocks, you want to make it really simple to where you're just depositing money into an account and someone else or a computer, because it's basically because it's a robo advisor instead of an actual human advisor, they're making selections on what your money is going to go into based on your risk tolerance. So it's really a no brainer account. You just keep putting whatever money that you can afford to invest in the stock market. If you have a high risk tolerance, they'll put it in more stocks than bonds. If you have a low risk tolerance, then that ratio of stocks and bonds will fluctuate based on your risk tolerance. Now, the great thing about automated investing is that, as I mentioned, it takes risk into an account, but it also takes your taxes into account. So they're going to make the best decisions as far as your tax rate. That way you're not spending extra money on taxes for the time period that you're going to be investing, which I hope is over a 10, 20, 30 year period. Another great thing that you may have also heard of, it's called a drip and that's dividend reinvestment plan. 
So if you were buying stocks in, we'll say TD Ameritrade or Fidelity, and you're purchasing individual stocks, you will have an option to do a drip plan where when a company pays you a dividend, that money is automatically reinvested into that stock. So let's say you have a stock that's $100 and every quarter you get a $1 dividend. That $1 dividend would then automatically repurchase a dollar's worth of the stock that you own. So now instead of having one share of a stock that's $100, after those dividends are reinvested, you would have 1.01 shares of that stock based on that $1 that you purchased into that stock. Now for brokerage accounts that don't allow fractional shares, this is actually the only way that you can get a fractional share in those types of accounts. Otherwise you need a brokerage account like M1 Finance or SoFi Invest, Stockpile or Motif, where you can actually buy fractional shares and it doesn't have to be because of a dividend reinvestment. So Betterment has that feature as well and it's automatically done. It's not something that you have to think about. They just do it for you. That's what makes it so great. Another thing that you can do within the Betterment's investing side is that you can create multiple portfolios to save for specific goals. So if you wanna just create like a safety net or an emergency fund with stocks, or if you wanna save for your retirement, you can pick multiple for portfolios to fit those individual plans that you have. And last but not least, there are also features for you to receive financial advice. So you have access to a financial advisor and they have different plans. And these plans can range from a one-time fee of $199 up to $299 to where you can pay that flat fee and have a conversation with an advisor. They can look over your accounts and then make suggestions for what they think you need to do to be a better steward of your finances. And then they also have two other plans where they charge a certain percentage of the money that you have invested in order to give you advice. So if that's something that you would like to check out and you would like to have access to a financial advisor, uh, maybe you should check out one of those three plans if you have a Betterment account. But there are also different ways that you can get financial advice without being charged a fee. One company that I can give an example is SoFi. With SoFi, you actually have access to financial advisors and there's no charge for it. So if you wanna check out the video where I did a review on SoFi Invest and SoFi Money, I did mention it a little bit, but of course, do your own research and check out their website to see if that is a feature that works for you. So this was my review of the Betterment Everyday Checking and Savings Accounts. And I also mentioned the Betterment Robo Advisor Investing, the automated investing that they have, as well as a few features that they have with financial advisors. So if this is an account specifically dealing with that Betterment Everyday Checking Account, where you're gonna also get a savings account with a 2.69% interest rate, it's one of the best interest rates that you can find on an online savings account with absolutely no fees. It's a really great chance to increase the amount of savings that you have, especially when the national average interest rate for bank accounts is 0.10%. If you can get 2.69%, that's over 26 times the national average. It's definitely something you may want to think about taking advantage of. And also, if you want to check out the videos where I talk about my top five savings accounts, that way you can compare the features of those accounts and the interest rates to this new Betterment everyday checking and savings account. All right, thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I really appreciate it. If you're not a current subscriber, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that like button so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. And also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I make a great video like this. All right, you guys have a great day. Thanks.